again welcome back this is just another short video once again using the Sizzix scoring board and trimmer I have to apologize because my desk there's not a lot of room and I don't have a lot of storage so everything round about's really cluttered so I'll do the best that I can with what you can see so what we're going to do today is show you how to make two different how to make tags in two different ways and two different sizes of bunting just using this scoring board no measuring or anything well not much measuring involved so the first thing we're going to make are tags you can make these any size you want literally any size that you want so I'm going to use just an ordinary piece of card we'll make a large one and a smaller one so the first one is quite easy you see all of these punches these all come with the board and that's your envelope notch punch we're not going to be using that at all today there's your hole punch and this is oops, this is a corner rounder and a corner cutter I suppose you would just call it and these can all be removed this one can actually be taken off and turned around so I'm going to turn this one around to the corner cutter there and all you do if you can see this is just slide that in there buff it up right to the edge give it a punch turn it around give it a punch and you can see it's cut off just a little bit it depends on the effect that you're looking for really then you can turn this punch around again to the corner round it if you wanted to and round the corners of your tag so you're left with something like that and this you can either take out and use it to punch or you can just leave it in there and um, so we're going to punch a hole through there i don't know if it's going to be in the middle because i can't really see what i'm doing and there that's one tag very simple to make the other type we're going to make a thicker one this time so what you do is take this the ruler and put it onto the 45 degree angle you'll see all of the I don't know if you can see that you can see all the measurements there so this is the 45 degree angle so you would take your, what's going to be your tag and then you decide how much you want to take off so that looks good enough to me so that is seven and three quarters so what you do is take off that flip it over put it again to seven and three quarters make sure it's straight and there you go <laughs> please excuse it's it's not cutting very well there is another video that explains how I have damaged the channel of my paper cutter it's very very painful but anyway that's another way to do it and as before we can round the corners Ow. and we can punch a hole in the middle of the top to make a large tag so to make the tags themselves there's barely any measuring involved and you can literally make them any size you like as you can see here they're all different sizes yeah so you, you can literally do any size you like just using that method well both of those methods now on to the bunting you can make two different sizes of bunting so the first one's going to be the thinner one so you take this and move it to the first notch which is 15 degrees I've already taken the liberty of cutting some well this is glitter paper but I've cut it it's A4 size and I've just cut it in half so what you can do is slide that on until the corner is in the center of the channel I have no idea how this is going to cut because as I said before I did damage the channel but I, I'll give it a quick clean 
hopefully that will help so as I said don't worry about this you don't need to measure this at all so make sure that is in the center of the channel and just cut and then you flip over this and make sure that that corner again is right in the center of the channel and there's your first piece of bunting and then you can just keep doing that just make sure that it's in the center of the channel do one more in the center of the channel <clears throat> and there are your three pieces of bunting quite a cute size there I think good for a party they look quite nice I think if you want larger pieces I'll use the other piece I might not get enough out of there just move this round to 30 degrees and it's just the exact same process so make sure the corner is right in the center of the the cutting channel there turn it over and do the same again so that's a, a wider piece you just keep going So these are the pieces of bunting, much thicker, much wider. What you can do now is put a hole in either side of this. So slide it right along, so it bumps along there. Flip it over, slide it right along again. And there you're left with two holes, exactly the same spacing. If you wanted to, if you wanted to have a bit more control over where you put it, you can take this out and put the holes in exactly where you like but once you've done um, with these put holes in all of them use a bit of ribbon or string to string them all together and you've got some nice pretty bunting and if you've made boxes or cards with the same type of paper you can have everything matching as well so I hope that was I hope that was easy to understand I'm really sorry that you can't see properly because of this because it is massive and it is really difficult to, to fit it onto my desk when I'm trying to film because my camera's over there on a stand and it's really difficult to get the space <laughs> to get everything um, all in the same space together but never mind well seam binding looks amazing when you string these up but unfortunately I didn't have any but this is just to give you an idea of what they would look like all strung together. I hope it was easy to understand. I hope you got the idea anyway. I hope you have a great day. Bye bye for now. As I've said before, once I reach 1000 subscribers, I will be having a little mini giveaway. So watch this space. <laughs>